Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Well, here's the good news this morning. It's actually a little warmer out there this morning. It's not as warm as we'd like it, but it's warmer. Now, let me just call it the color of your blazer because I'm wearing blue too. And I got it this morning and I'm thinking, I don't want to see any clouds. I want to see blue skies. I want to see spring. So you that was my thinking, mindset. Okay. That was my mindset. And well, I'm looking forward to that. I read your mind. I do it all the time. I know. We do that. Yesterday, we were both wearing green. Well, I could wear green as much as I could yeah. before I walked over to the green screen. Of course, that didn't work out too well. No. <laughs> looking ahead at the first day of spring, I think we're all still thinking green. Of course, that's coming up on this Thursday. Thursday. This Thursday. I personally cannot wait. And I'm hoping that the weather cooperates and it actually feels a little bit more like spring for everyone. This morning, still a little chilly out there near 27. At least the sky is clear. We will see some of those blue skies during the first part of the day. In fact, there's a big full moon out there. If you can see it before that sun comes up just before the eight o'clock hour Eastern time today, check that out. It's pretty cool out there right now. Again, that sky is mostly clear, so you're going to be able to see the moon, but we'll increase that cloud cover looking ahead at the day today and these clouds associated with our next weather disturbance. It's actually going to bring some rain showers to the valley during the overnight tonight. So let's talk about what's in store for today. Again, still going to see mostly clear skies, so sunshine during the morning hours, but we will start to increase that cloud cover becoming partly cloudy as we look ahead of this afternoon. Winds pick up as well out of the southeast, and that's going to start to usher in those warmer temperatures. So while we only topped out near 42 yesterday, we're definitely going to be warmer today with those highs getting back into the mid mid 50s. Let's break down your day planner for the day as you head out the door this morning. Again, sun just coming up before that eight o'clock hour and we're going to see plenty of sunshine during the first part of the day. Temperatures near 28 degrees. We'll start to rebound back into the mid 40s looking ahead at the one o'clock hour and at that point already going to be warmer than yesterday's daytime high. And again, at that point, still going to start to increase those winds and the cloud cover. Looking ahead at the six o'clock, Hour. Well, that's when those temperatures like to top out today, right around 54 degrees. That'll be your daytime high. Now, during the overnight tonight, those skies, for the most part, start to become more cloud filled. In fact, that's when we look at the next chance for rain to set up as a cold front sets up and pushes through. We look for scattered showers to begin right around that four o'clock hour. So no rain tonight. It's after midnight as we head into the first part of the day on Wednesday when that rain really does look to set up. Some spotty showers will continue with us through your morning commute on Wednesday here 7 a.m. And again, just during the first part of the day as that front slides through, that's when we keep that chance for rain with us before this system exits. Looking ahead at the second second half of the day on Wednesday. So beginning after midnight tonight and really before midday tomorrow, that's going to be the best chance for rain. And also behind that, some cooler temperatures. Daytime highs only going to be back into the upper 40s for your Wednesday afternoon. And that's when that cooler air starts to really pool in and settles in for us. In fact, we're going to see an overnight low tonight near 44 and then really not going to rebound much for your Wednesday. Thursday, though, we'll continue to clear that sky out. Of course, that's what we're talking about. The first day of spring looks like we're going to be in for plenty of sunshine and also temperatures are set to increase as well. So your Thursday afternoon shaping up to be a very nice one. Those daytime highs getting back into the 50s. So something to look forward to pretty similar out there, which we are looking at for today. So 55 degrees a warmer and windy day, increasing those clouds, especially during the second half of the day. That's going to lead into some rain chances after midnight tonight. Showers approaching winds picking up out of the south gusting in excess of 30 miles per hour. We do stay mild though with the rain and the cloud cover before that front passes through back to 44. But then again, we only rebound to about 49 for your Wednesday. Rain will be around during the first part of the day. It turns partly cloudy, but stays very windy. Gusts in excess of 35 miles per hour. That's for your Wednesday afternoon. Now coming a look ahead at uh, your Thursday, of course, that's when we kick off spring in the afternoon hours. Temperatures back to 54 and the warmest day of the week. Moving in on Friday, back to 64 degrees.